This is, this is actually terrifying. Democracy is radically indeterminate. The outcome can be manipulated, but that manipulation will not be apparent to people unless they have seen this technical result, which means that you sort of, you can have shamans, people who know the rules, be in charge in ways that are tantamount to dictatorship. So the, the, we should be very skeptical about claims that this is what the people want. I think ontologically, that is in terms of existence, the idea of the will of the people is a genie or will of the wisp that we shouldn't really believe in. But in, in, for technical reasons, that notion of outcomes being the will of the people, we should be very skeptical about. Uh, why don't you talk about – what do you mean indeterminate? You have a vote, you get an outcome. What's the big deal? The way that you just said it is correct, and if that's all people would interpret it as, then I would agree. So here's what I would say. Individuals have wills. Now, they may be confused. You know, there's behavioral economics that would say maybe my preferences can be manipulated, but I have objectives. People act purposively. If I have better information, I'll make better choices. So I know what it means to say that an individual has a will. Maybe I have competing wills, but economics is about trade-offs. So I want to lose weight and I want to eat donuts. I'll work that out somehow. But why would you expect that a group has a will? And James Buchanan, in his famous uh, review of Kenneth Arrow's first book on social choice in 1954 in the journal Political Economy, has just a, a, an, a remarkable insight. Of course, you would expect democracy to be indeterminate if people disagree. How could you possibly come up with a consensus out of disagreement? It would be magic. And unless you believe in magic, you shouldn't expect that. So individuals have wills, groups have choices, and choices depend on decision rules. And that's why Buchanan wrote about choosing how to choose. The calculus of consent was mostly how should we pick rules knowing that rules really, really matter. So what I mean by indeterminate is given a set of preferences, you have a, a group of people, they disagree, but they want to choose as a group, maybe because it's like Lewis and Clark, they know that they can't split up. They actually have to stick together. We're just going to have one choice here. But we disagree. What rule should we pick? <clears throat> it turns, turns out that different rules may imply different outcomes. And when you say that, it doesn't seem like a big deal. But of course it is. The same preferences with different rules give you different outcomes. Well, if that's true, the choice of rules is tantamount to dictatorship. 